It's time. Yep, today's the day. Yeah! We all saw this coming, you know. This isn't a surprise to anyone. If you're not new around here, let's not act surprised that this is happening. Or I guess you should act surprised for my pride's sake. But anyways, today is that day I'm sure a lot of you guys have been waiting for. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. But yes, we are officially starting my OT5 La Seraphim collection. Woo! So yes, if you have been following my channel for a while or watching a couple of my past videos, you guys know that I've basically been on a journey to start my OT5 collection and I know it's very late at this point to set it up because, you know, I've been working on it actively on camera too. Like I haven't like officially like made a video for it or like set up for it. So yeah, sorry about that. But today is finally that day. And the reason why it took so long is because I kind of wanted to start and complete my OT5 collection in this one video, which is why I've been holding out for so long. But unfortunately, there's been some delays with certain photo cards that I needed for this video. And unfortunately, it's not gonna make it in time. So yeah, we're not gonna 100% complete it. So sorry for this like clickbait, but we are pretty much completing it. And theoretically, I did complete it. It's just the remaining photo cards are gonna arrive literally on Monday, but I need to have a video up this weekend. So I'll complete it in a future video. But anyways, today we are officially setting up my La Seraphim binder. It's getting its own special binder and we're gonna be, be putting away all of the cards that I have, all of the fillers. The reason why I'm collecting OT5, you guys are probably wondering why. I mean, it's kind of obvious, like La Seraphim has quickly become like one of my favorite groups. I usually don't, I mean, well, I don't know if it's, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this, but I usually don't jump the gun when it comes to like big collections like this. I mean, it literally took me years to start my NCT Dream OT7 collection, but La Seraphim has just quickly become one of my favorite groups. They're like, honestly, like, I guess, one of my old girl groups at this point i really really just liked you know i just like everything about them their music the members themselves like the good vibes are there so i'm just like you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna collect ot5 let me just say it has definitely been a whirlwind collecting ot5 it's definitely not easy <laughs> definitely not as easy as it was when they first debuted it i guess i'll get into that as i'm setting this collection up but yeah here we are so i'm gonna collect ot5 for all of their Korean and as of now, all of their Japanese photo cards as well. And since Yoonjin is my bias, I am gonna try and collect like a lot of her non-album stuff too. You can see there's some right there. So yeah, we have like this box full of their album photo cards. This stuff is full of Yoonjin POBs and whatnot. And this is just like Japanese photo cards and like other non-album cards that I have of them. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's not delay this any further. I did tease this binder in my photo card collection video, but this is a Muji 30 hole binder. I know 30 holes is kind of insane. I got this from Muji, like the Korean site. I couldn't find it on their US site for some reason. So yeah, I got, had to get it through my Kaati. This is what it looks like. It's a rather thin binder. They don't have any other big sizes, which kind of concerns me, you know, because obviously I feel like this collection is going to fill up pretty quickly. They're already on their first comeback and they already have so many cards. Like, look at the stack. So yeah, but I really wanted to use this binder because I remember seeing this binder on TikTok, I'm pretty sure. Like, I saw someone use it for their TXT OT5 collection and like new jeans and you know it's perfect because as you can see these pocket pages are five pocket pages so it's perfect for like a five member group so i was like you know what i want to try this type of binder you can see this is how i decorated it they have like very limited colors they don't have like a black or white unfortunately so i just got this like i guess grayish brownish color i put like the la seraphim logo sticker on the back it says la seraphim very simple very cute and then I got this um, key ring from, this is from their Japanese merch, I believe. It's like a random like keychain. It's Yunjin's. Super cute. So yeah, I guess we're going to officially start putting these cards away. I'm so excited. I've literally been holding on to this binder for like months, like waiting for this video to be made. So it's very exciting that I have it now. All right. And I also have a template pulled up just in case, even though I already like 
prepared everything beforehand like I put everything in order and stuff but just in case we'll have that there because y'all know how I am <laughs> I also took the liberty to make all the fillers that I needed. You'll see it later on, but yeah, I made like fillers for, you know, the cards that I'm missing or that are on the way. I guess I could have done that in this video because that's technically a part of setting up, but I thought it was going to take too long, so I just did it off camera. You don't need to see that anyways. We're going to start off with I'm Fearless, their debut. So we have all four versions. This is kind of perfect because you can put like, obviously like two rows of cards in this binder so there's four different versions which is kind of perfect oh wait since it's horizontal should i maybe i should go like this hold on i guess from now on if i have to work on this collection i'll have to do this like horizontally <laughs> you know see this is i typically don't like um whatchamacallit like horizontal facing pages i like everything vertical but i guess for this purpose it's fine. I can deal with it. But yeah, let's go ahead and start storing. One annoying thing about this, these pages is that you have to, when they're like brand new, you have to like kind of like break the seal almost. So if I go like this a lot, you'll, that's why. The Black Patrol version. Oh geez. Love how I'm already struggling with this binder. <laughs> it's okay. But yeah, I also kind of made this decision kind of early on because initially, like, La Seraphim was pretty easy to collect. Like, if you guys know, I only collected Yunjin in the beginning when they first debuted. And I set this a bunch, but, like, their photo cards were pretty inexpensive. Like, they were pretty easy to collect, like, including their POBs and stuff like that. So that's why I was like, oh, okay, like... If one member is super easy to collect, like, I feel like OT5 shouldn't be that easy. It shouldn't be that difficult, you know? But after Anti-Fragile, like, oh my god, their popularity blew up. Like, if you know, you know. Like, literally, their photo cards are so expensive nowadays. And, like, Yunjin became, like, one of the easiest members to collect to, like, literally the most difficult. I feel like it's safe to say that now. Like, literally, oh my god. Like, me trying to collect her, like, non-album cards is such a pain. <laughs> Like, they're so expensive. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but... Oh, well, what's a fun in a collection without some challenge, you know? <laughs> Just love suffering. But yes, anyways, that was the first set, and then now we have the monochrome bouquet. I feel like Fearless is still pretty easy to collect, though, not gonna lie. There's not that many cards, and the photo cards aren't too expensive, to be honest. Anti-fragile cards, on the other hand, like, holy crap. Like, even the compacts and the Weavers cards, those versions are supposed to be cheap, you know, because, like, the album itself is cheap, but people over overpriced the hell out of those cards. I'm so glad that, like, I was blessed with the Buy sponsorship <laughs> to buy all the contact compact cards, but oh my goodness. Also, it's just evil on their company's part for making it one out of 20 cards. Like, why? <laughs> Uh, yes, anyways, now we have the monochrome bouquet. It's double sided, so there's the other side. Oh my god, I'm loving this binder so far. Oh my goodness, it's so satisfying seeing like these like entire sets. Oh my goodness. All right, now we're gonna move on to anti fragile. <laughs> like, you could even see it on this template. Like, literally, look at this madness. <laughs> the way they went from this to this is like absurd. <sighs> I'm just so scared of the next era, like, how many cards they're gonna have, like, if they have this many for this era, I just feel like it's gonna go up from there, so maybe this is kind of a bad decision, but too late to turn back now. Okay, honestly, I'm just gonna put this away, like, there's no point, I organized it before, so we can focus on putting away the cards. So we're gonna start off with the Midnight Onyx. Oh yeah, I have to break the seal. Okay. Like, it's literally come to the point where, like, the compact photo cards, I feel like they're worth the same amount as the normal album cards. It's because it's 1 out of 20, you know, and La Seraphim is, has become, like, such a high-demand, like, group in terms of collecting. I had a ton of extra compact cards because I pulled them, I pulled them from my album and then I, like, bought the compact set. If you guys saw my photo card haul video, my recent one. So I was able to trade a lot of those for like the normal album cards that you see here because, you know, I feel like it's come to that point. Like, it's it's crazy though, because usually, you know, like member version digit packs and stuff are supposed to be like cheaper and whatever, but because they made it like so difficult to collect, but yeah, okay. 
these are the first two versions, Midnight Onyx and Iridescent Opal. And then for the highest demand version, Frozen Aquamarine. These were the three cards I was talking about. I think these are the only three cards I'm missing right now in terms of like album photo cards. And they were all on the way, but ugh, I don't want to get into it, but... Yes, at least they're on the way. They're gonna be here by Monday, so at least it'll be complete in my next photo card storing video. Okay, this is kind of scary too, like having to like go like this. <laughs> Low key bending the cards, but you know what? It's fine. I'm not, I I I can manage. But yeah, oh my god, the pain it was to get this frozen aquamarine Yunjin photo card. <sighs> Like, the fact that people just do this, like, high-demand photo card thing nowadays, it's kind of crazy. Like, ugh, my goodness. People wanting to trade that photo card for, like, fucking broadcast photo cards and, like, POBs and stuff. Like, babes, this is literally their first comeback. It's The album is still, like, very much in print. It's literally just a normal album card either. It's not even, like, a POB and, like, people are treating it like one. Like, ugh. Like, it's a cute card, obviously, but, like, do we need to be doing all this? So, I was able to find it. Well, it wasn't cheap, <laughs> obviously. It was, like, on the cheaper side. I feel like nowadays people either, like, no one's really selling the card. Let's be honest here. I feel like every time I see the card on Instagram, people are wanting to trade it for, like, ridiculous cards. And I'm like, why? <laughs> so, I found it, like, for the best price that I could. But, yes. Anyways, now we're gonna get into the compact versions. If I was talking quieter before, it's because I've been wanting to film this video earlier today, but of course, today my sister and her BF decided to stay home all day, so they were literally in the next room, and I've been waiting for hours for them to leave, and they weren't, so literally I decided to film, and of course, right when I start filming, they decide to leave and talk and be hella loud, so yeah. Like... Oh my goodness, I swear I have the worst luck when it comes to filming videos. <sighs> Anyways, besides that personal rant that you guys didn't need to hear, we're gonna get into all of the compact cards now. Yeah, again, I'm terrified. I really hope, like, they make things easier next era. And next era, I am definitely joining, like, a lot more, like, group orders or something. Like, fixed slots for Yunjin because... Like I said, Yunjin has become like super difficult to collect, so her POBs are just insanely priced. I usually don't even spend that much on POBs because, I don't know, like, it's really hard for me to spend like a lot of money on just like a singular card. I know that's kind of hard to believe, but I've never spent like a lot of money on POBs because I pretty much only collect non-album cards seriously for like Mark and Vernon, and their POBs are usually not that expensive, so I'm not used to doing that. But for Yunjin, I definitely had to like open up my wallet a little more because her POBs nowadays average for like 20 to like 40 to 50 dollars, which is crazy. I've definitely spent quite a couple more dollars than I would have liked on some of these POBs. But yeah, I guess it's like my goal now to collect mainly her like selfie POBs. I know they have a lot of like concept photo POBs. I don't really like care about those, which is a good thing because it's one less thing to collect. But damn, there's still a lot, so hopefully I can find, like, a reli reliable, like, group order manager or something like that. If you guys have hosted for La Seraphim group orders, or you know of a La Seraphim group order manager that does, like, fixed slots, I guess you can hit me up. <laughs> but yeah. Hopefully a group order manager that isn't Yunjin bias as well, because <laughs> obviously, you know, I, can I would want to claim Yunjin. But yeah, we'll see. Some of these pages are like, I don't know, irregular sometimes, so I'm like pushing the sleeve out of the card. I chose to sleeve it upside down because, I don't know, I feel like it's less likely to fly out. <laughs> That's how I usually sleeve my cards anyways. Okay, we have the compact units. Now we're going to get into the Weavers photo cards. Thankfully, obviously the Weavers was the easiest to complete for me because I bought five Weavers albums, you know? So I was pretty much able to trade for all of these, even though I put these trades up pretty late. I pulled like three or four. Oh my god, sorry, I didn't notice that it wasn't like in focus, but 
literally I pulled three or four of that one Yunjin card where she's like winking and like apparently that's another like high demand card so everyone's like oh my god they're like jumping on it so yeah but the the most difficult card surprisingly was this Unche. I don't know I feel like I couldn't really find it because like I was so close to just buying it because I couldn't find a trade for it but luckily I did last minute but yeah it wasn't that easy to find which is surprising because I feel like those cards are usually the cheapest and easiest but yeah I don't know. Maybe the next era, like, the member bias will, like, flip again because I know, like, before it was, like, Chewon and Sakura being the highest demand because they were in Eyes 1. But I feel like nowadays, like, Yunjin and even Unche's cards have definitely, like, gone a lot higher. I feel like her being the new Music Bank MC would definitely, like, increase her popularity. Like, it's happened with a lot of previous MCs, so... Now I'm kind of scared for that too, like, they're just only getting more popular, which like, good for them obviously, but like, I'm scared for my own <laughs> collection's sake. So that was all of like, the album cards. Now for these ones, I did get this full set of K-Town for you POBs, they're just like, transparent concept cards. And I have these like, three group cards that are anti-fragile related, so I'm just gonna give this its own page. Like, even though this is, like, a P.O.B., if I have, like, a full set of it, then I'm just gonna put Yunjin's, like, with theirs as well. Also, the sleeves I'm using, by the way, are popcorn sleeves, in case you're curious. <laughs> even though I'm probably gonna link, like, all of my supplies in the description like I usually do. I forgot which one's which. I know one of these is the Target exclusive and one of these is the US exclusive group card, I think. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put for these two pockets, but I don't know. We'll see if I decide to do something with that. Okay, maybe if I get like two group cards, if they do it for their next era. But yeah, those will be empty for now. I can't even put like white like fillers because the ultimate Obviously, the Ultra Pro sleeves won't fit in here, so maybe I'll have to cut up some paper. <laughs> okay, next up, we are gonna be moving on to this box, which has their Japanese album cards and their, like, other stuff. So for now, I, I just have, like, their Seasons Greetings. I'm not gonna collect OT5 for everything, obviously. These are just things that I just get, I guess. <laughs> kind of like my OT7 Dream Collection. If I just get a set of the cards, then I'll like put it away. So yeah, I usually don't collect Japanese albums for anyone except Mark and Vernon pretty much. I don't really collect like Japanese albums in general because they are obviously more expensive and like more difficult. It's one less thing to worry about, but I just decided to do it for this because it honestly, like when I looked at it, it wasn't too difficult. Like a lot of the cards weren't that expensive, surprisingly, and it just worked out that way. So yeah, here we are. I don't know if this is going to continue, it just depends, again, on how many cards they have, but... Okay, wait, let me take out the template for this because I don't have all of the cards, so just in case I want to reference. So yeah, these are the cards I'm going to collect, and these are, like, the store benefits I ended up getting. I'm definitely not going to collect, like, the Japanese, like, Lucky Draws because those are, like... Oh my god, those are so expensive. Don't even, like, talk to me about those. <laughs> So yeah, like I'm just gonna collect the normal album cards and then they also have the Weavers Japan exclusive but I think those are just like clear cards and like message cards so I don't really care about those. We'll just have that as like a little reference. I really hope like I'm not really paying attention to my phone so I hope everything's like straight and like nice looking on camera. Also, I have my privacy screen protector so I can barely see shit but first we have um their the standard version photo cards because oh yeah <laughs> I had well I showed this on my Instagram story but it's gonna be my next like collective haul on my second channel I bought four copies from Target because they released there and then I bought one from like Weavers when I bought all of their Japanese albums and these are my pulls so far I did find a trade for Yunjin's because I pulled an extra Sakura, and I know I didn't get my albums yet, but I know Yunjin's is going to be difficult to secure, so I just wanted to find a trade for it first, just in case. So yeah, like, hopefully we pull Unche my fifth copy, but if we don't, hopefully we can find a trade for whoever I pulled it for, but yeah. Anyways, so this is like almost complete, and then, oh yeah, I decided to put um, this, this set, the Weavers Global P.O.B., because I did buy my albums from Weavers Global and it comes with like this concept 
and it matches this concept. So that's why I'm putting it here. So yeah, that's on the way. And then we have the solo jacket photo cards, which I don't have any because I haven't got to my albums yet. Again, those are going to arrive on Monday with my other KID stuff. So I'm excited to open those, but I did buy all... Oh, wait, I'm so stupid. I bought Yunjin sets. Okay, because... Hold on, let me put these in first. Oh, by the way, B means like black background and P is like pink background. Oh my god, black pink. <laughs> But yeah, um, it's because when I went to buy the um, albums from Weavers Global, every member except Yunjin was in stock. Like, Yunjin sold out, so I was like, damn it. So um, I just ended up finding her jewel case on Mercari Japan, obviously. And I found, like, a bunch of sets that, like, had her photo cards. It wasn't even that expensive, so I was like, okay, I'll just complete Yunjin's for now. So yeah, I mean, if I find any dupes... If I get any dupe Yunjins, like, I feel like it won't be that hard to trade anyways. But uh, yeah, I guess so. Yunjin should technically be um, on the way. I just totally forgot about that. I haven't bought any solo jacket PCs because obviously I'm waiting for my pulls first. And then I'll just end up buying the rest. Again, like, luckily the photo cards aren't, like, too expensive on Mercari Japan. Hopefully I don't speak too soon and they just, like, increase in price. <laughs> but... Yes. Anyways, now we have the limited units, and the reason why I have a whole set right now is because, like I said, the photo cards weren't that expensive, thankfully, and funny enough, buying an entire set of these unit cards was cheaper than buying, like, the albums, like, the limited albums. Like, people were selling them for not that expensive, thankfully, so I just bought the entire set because, like, from the albums, I'm gonna pull two cards, so, like, might as well just get the whole set while I'm at it. So yeah, whoever I pull in my albums, like, I can just, like, sell or something, trade, I don't know. So yeah, that's why I have the whole set here. Like, this package arrived to me pretty early. So yeah, we can complete this right here, right now. I'm guessing because they're unit cards, they're not as expensive as, like, the solo selfie cards. Because people don't like unit cards for some reason. I guess it's good for me, though, so I was able to complete OT5 for this. Even the units have five cards, which fits this perfectly. Oh my god. Some of these, like, pocket pages, like, they're tighter and some of them are, like, wider. So if you see me struggling sometimes, that's why. Look at how nice this looks. Okay. And then for the two, like, other POBs. So I guess this was not really that necessary. I just wanted to get these. But I got the Weavers Japan exclusive POBs. It's these ones with like these heart hollows, so pretty. And then I decided to get these. I think these are Tower Records or Universe. Oh, it's right here, Tower Records stickers because I wanted to get like another like POB set, but they were honestly kind of expensive. So I just got the sticker set because they're photo card size, they're the same concept and it was like $5 for the whole set. So, you know, I don't wanna like spend not necessary. What am I saying? I don't wanna unnecessarily spend more money. Wow, shocker for me to say. <laughs> But yeah, these POVs weren't too expensive either, thankfully. And they're really pretty, like the Heart Hollow. It kind of sucks that they're, they don't really have like selfie POVs. They don't, it's only for the Lucky Draws, which like I said, are so expensive. Like, oh my god, literally, I always see them go for like 80 plus dollars each. Like, there's absolute, like, I can't even get that for Yunjin. Like, that's way too expensive. That's too out of my price range, so yeah, okay. Yay. All right, now we're gonna, oh shit. Now we're gonna move on to like other OT5 sets that I have. So it's pretty much just their season's greetings and their fear not membership kit, which I don't think they've like shipped any of that yet. So yeah, but it comes with an OT5 set. So we're gonna put those away. So first we're gonna have the season's greetings. It would have been kind of cool if I bought like another set. Or like another season's greeting so i can like put both sides on one page but i don't want to buy two season's greetings i'm okay with just one and like even the season's greetings photo cards sometimes go for like pretty expensive you would think that it, since it comes with a set like people would just price them cheaper but nope these oh my god fuck no baby fuck no baby <laughs> so my <laughs> 
the footage cut off because my phone ran out of storage because I'm a fucking idiot and I always forget to delete my old footage from my phone, like permanently delete it. So, oh my God. I was literally storing the IDs. Like that's how far I got, but okay. Anyways, I'll try to remember what I said. Yeah, anyways, we were storing this, right? Yeah, you would think people would sell these for cheaper, but nope. That, I think that's the last thing I said, but... Anyways, same with the Polaroid, like, you would think that, like, I mean, since this is a random set, not a random photo card, one member, it's a random set, so obviously people would price it even more, so, uh, just love that for me, you know, but, yes, coincidentally enough, like, this is the set that I pulled and it matches this concept, so, yeah, it works out, okay. And then now we're gonna put the IDs away. I also decided to put like the ID pictures in here. Like I just made these like little placeholder thingies out of an old anti-fragile album, or not old, extra anti-fragile album. So I know it would be better for this to put it like in this age order because you know, these are horizontal, but I'm gonna look at the binder from like this point of view. So yeah, I'm just gonna put it like this, like I did with the other cards. I did, they don't have like too much like merch items and stuff like that. I know they had the Fearless, that thing that they released, that merch packet thing. I obviously didn't get that because <laughs> I decided on this OT5 collection pretty late. And then I didn't get the um, anti-fragile like Polaroid instant card set thingy. Those, oh my God, like why do those resell for so expensive? Like, oh my God, literally you get like, I think six cards per pack and the pack was like 8,000 won, but people sell each card for like 15 bucks like why so i missed out on that i they did release trading cards for their japanese albums and i did get like 11 packs of those so maybe we'll collect ot5 for that too i don't know i guess i'm collecting ot5 for a lot of different things but anyways this is for their fear not membership kit photo cards for when i eventually get them and this empty row would be saved for like i don't know something else we'll see but yeah, we'll see how far my OT5 collection goes. I don't know. Lastly, on the agenda, we have my Yunjin non-album photo card set. So yes, this is my progress so far. Except for I don't have this and this card on the way anymore because I joined a group order, but it got canceled, sadly. So this is kind of a perfect template for me because I was pretty much just gonna try and collect her selfie POBs, photo cards, I guess, anyways. So um, I guess this progress is pretty good, to be honest, like considering, like I said, her POBs are so expensive. I guess non-album cards, not just POBs. But yeah, I'm not gonna collect like 100% of this. Like you can see there's like broadcast, Japan lucky draws. Oh my God, again, like so expensive. So I don't think I'll ever get those. Like, but you never know. You really do never know. Like I didn't think I would get this many like photo cards but like here we are so so i did make like fillers for it and stuff like that again i'm not gonna get like her non-album i mean her concepts photo card pobs and stuff because i don't want to worry about that i'm i'm worrying about this already so okay yeah like i said these fearless ones i got you i think it's my previous previous photo card haul that's when i got all of those i mean these cards and i was literally looking back on my buy buying history purchase history and like i was like damn <laughs> i got these cards for like really good price. like this photo card for example i see it go for like 60 plus dollars nowadays i'm like damn i got this for like 12 bucks i think and here i am like low-key bending <laughs> okay oh i did get this shoppy card i pretty much just like made fillers for cards that i would think is kind of possible like this card the thailand shoppy card also crazy expensive so but again you really never know i'm just gonna have that positive attitude <laughs> okay and then luckily i got all of her like lucky draws and stuff my progression to like collecting more Yunjin stuff it was only gonna be like i was only gonna collect like one page of pob so like 10 i guess per era but then i just started getting more and more and i was like mm, we'll see how far this goes again i don't know if i'm gonna get her showcase anymore like i don't have it on the way anymore sadly and 
Her showcase photo card is pretty expensive, so I feel like I should just give up on that dream too. Or maybe this is a sign for me to just like, for the cards I can't really get, the ones that are super expensive, I should just replace it with the concept photo card because obviously those ones are pretty easy to get, so. Oh, wait, what? Oh my god, I'm kind of dumb. I thought I had enough for two pages, but I guess I didn't. Well, that's awkward. Maybe I should just do one page for, Lis um, for Fearless, actually, because a lot of these cards are pretty expensive. Like, I feel like these are gonna be difficult to get. Yeah, maybe I should just do one page. I don't know, we'll decide later. Again, we'll see which photo cards I'm able to get in the first place. But yeah, anyways, now we're gonna move on to Anti-Fragile, which is where they went like bonkers. <laughs> do you see that? That's insane. So a lot of the photo cards are also pretty similar too. Like they're similar, like, you know, like outfits and concepts and stuff. Like there's a lot of the Iridescent Opal photo shoots. So that's why I'm kind of like, is it even worth getting all these different POVs? I don't know. But it's like, if I see it for a good price, I'm like, bye. <laughs> That's why it's like, it's there for now, you know? It's not like def definitive, but just in case I decide to get it. But yeah, this is the one POB I have right now, <laughs> her big pop POB. I mean, this is a fan sign card. I keep saying POB, but you, you, you know what I mean. But yes, I did like also recently get a lot of these POBs. Oh my God, I need to stop saying that. Non-album photo cards recently which is also going to be in that like haul i'm getting on monday <laughs> so that's like sharding but yeah a, a lot of people like overprice these cards which sucks but I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's because like their popularity like skyrocketed after all these events happened so you know like not as many people a lot of people don't have them but a lot of people want them you know the whole supply demand talk so yeah that's why it's crazy. One thing I would need to like definitely jump on is getting their Japanese lucky draws because those are the ones that go for the most expensive. So if I can find a group order for that or something, perhaps I shall join. Oh, also, um, there's some like fillers that say miscellaneous POB, like this one. And then for fearless, yeah, this just means like, like if I can't get a card that's impossible to get, like the lucky draws or like the broadcast or whatever, I'm just going to replace it with like a non, a concept one, if you will, just so I can like fill up these rows more satisfyingly. And then we have, oh, I did end up buying her other version. I just got Yunjin's because like I said, these aren't very cheap. So I just got Yunjin's because she's my bias. But yeah, okay. With that, oh, also I guess PSA, if you're selling any of these for really good prices, keyword good prices i'm not gonna buy this shit for 50 plus dollars i guess it depends on the card but hit me up you know or if you see anyone selling it for good prices let me know because i am on the hunt but anyways that's okay i should take out these extra pocket pages i overestimated but with that we finally have my la seraphim collection set up yay oh my god this binder is like half full already uh-oh Maybe, okay, I could just get multiple binders, you know, so maybe this will just be for Fearless and Anti-Fragile, or maybe I should split it up by Korean Japanese photo cards and like non-album, I don't know. I'll decide when I need to. I'm gonna do a flip through like this so I can flip through it more easily. So I guess if you wanna rotate your screen, <laughs> you can, but. So starting off, we have Fearless. Look how satisfying this looks, oh my goodness. And you can also see the back, the monochrome bouquet. Um, Anti-Fragile. Oh yeah, this is not an album set. This is the Weaver set from K-Town for you, the P.O.B. I just put it here because I have nowhere else to put it. But yeah. And then Compact. Unit and the Concept. Oh crap, this is in the wrong order. Someone probably already commented that like, you put it in the wrong order. I, f I figured it out now, don't worry. You can delete that comment now. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me though. Okay, everything else is in correct order. <laughs> Damn, okay, anyways, continuing on. And all of their Weaver's cards and then just like miscellaneous stuff. Maybe I should put these group cards like here. Cause this is a POB set, this is a POB set. So it'll probably will be better like, I don't know, I'll decide later. And then their Japanese photo cards, which will hopefully be complete sooner or later we have these ones complete and then season's greetings wow very satisfying to see it horizontal 
And then, oh, the Fear Not. And then my Yunjin collection. Which is like pretty empty. <laughs> These will be filled soon, don't worry about it. But anyways, with that, that concludes this entire video. Wow. <laughs> We finally did it. I can't believe it took so long for me to do this video. Again, it's just like me personally. I'm just like, might as well wait for this card. Might as well wait for this. More cards, the better. Anyways, that was me setting up my new La Seraphim OT5 collection binder. <sighs> Thanks guys for waiting. I know a lot of people are waiting for this video. So here you are. Hope you're satisfied. Hopefully I don't regret doing this collection. I mean, I am having fun. Like as difficult and painstaking it is sometimes, it is actually a pretty, like, I don't know, I guess it's a fun collection. I do enjoy it still, you know, I wouldn't just like do this just to torture myself, but I'm just scared for their next comeback. But again, we'll see about that. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new to my channel and you want to keep up with this new collection or just any of my collections or with me in general, subscribe. There will definitely be more La Seraphim content in the future. And also on my second channel because I do stuff on there too. Oh, really quickly, I almost forgot. Here are some songs that I'm currently listening to. I'm jamming to my current favorite jams. In supposed to even Maria, of course. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe and tap below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.